so we have a lot to do we have to find all the currents all the voltages and yeah so we have to find all of, all, do all of those so let's start by doing a mesh so let's call this one IA and let's call this one IB okay so let's write the equation for IA so IA will be uh, minus 5 volts then it enters the 2 ohm so it will be 2 times uh, IA plus 8 IA minus IB and that's it and it's that because IA is moving this way IB is moving that way so it will be IA minus IB now let's simplify it so it will be minus 5 plus 2 IA plus 8 IA minus 8 IB okay and simplifying it more collecting like terms all right so this is the first equation we have to work with now let's do uh, the next mesh so it'll be 8 IB minus IA because IB is moving in th this direction and IA is moving in the opposite direction plus 4 IB minus 3 volts because it's entering the negative terminal first okay now let's uh, simplify it more and collecting like terms we get 12 IB minus 8 IA minus 3 okay so now we have two equations and two unknowns let's try and isolate for one of them so let's do this 12 IB equals 8 IA plus 3 divide both sides by 12 so that means IB is equal to uh, all of this now let's plug that in into here so we have minus 5 plus 10 IA minus 8 8 IA over 12 plus 3 over 12 okay and if we distribute this in it'll be minus 5.33 IA and if we distribute the 8 over here it'll be minus 2 so let's collect like terms minus 5 minus 2 that's minus 7 and 10 minus 5.33 that's 4.667 okay let's bring the 7 to the other side so we have 4.667 IA equals 7 divide both sides by 4.667 these two cancel out so IA is equal to hold on let me use a calculator quickly uh 1.5 yeah 1.5 okay 1.5 amps now we can substitute that into here so it's will be 1.5 times 8 divided by 12 which is 1 plus 3 over 12 which is 1.25 amps okay so since IA is 1.5 and it's moving in this direction uh, which is the direction I1 is moving in I1 will also be uh, 1.5 so let's let me erase all of this and so we can jot it down okay I1 is 1.5 amps oops amps okay now we see I3 is moving the same direction as IB and IB was 1.25 amps so I3 will also be 1.25 amps and I2 it's between IA and IB so it will be the difference of IA and IB and since IA is 1.5 and IB is 1.25 the answer will be uh, 0.25 okay now let's find the uh, voltages so we know that V equals IR so V1 will equal to 
I1, which is 1.5, times the 2 ohm resistor, which gives us uh, th 3 volts. V2 will be uh, 0 0.25 amps times 8 ohms, which gives us 2 volts. And V3 will be uh, 1.25 amps times 4 ohms, which gives us 5 volts. Yep, okay. And those are your answers. And as you could see, that it matches up with what we have up here.